Hey folks, High Tech Red here. Uh, I haven't posted any videos for a while. Um, it's not that I haven't made any. I have. However, they're on extremely controversial issues, and and I've tried to be as uh, professional as I can about it. Not be fanatical, but kind of got an inner battle going whether I want to post them or not. Anyway, uh, I've decided to. Uh, make a video on spring cleaning here at Redneck Central. Um, during the winter time I work on a lot of vehicles here, do a lot of mechanical jobs. And I also you know store firewood in the garage because we heat with wood here and uh, so generally over the process of the winter um, it, it kind of gets to be a mess in here. Anyway so there's there's kind of a spring cleaning process that uh, goes along with the uh, summertime coming on ritual and I kind of wanted to show you around the garage and and uh, check it out one of the uh, things that you may find interesting besides my uh, I've got a uh, 1952 John Deere Model A styled um, that's what I use for hauling trees with and wood and the uh, spectacular thing about the uh, John Deere Model A tractor is that uh, it's a horizontal two-cylinder. It's got massive pistons in it. That it's got about five inches of stroke. Well, maybe not five, but four. More than four inches of stroke. Two massive cylinders. It's kind of like the Harley Davidson of tractors. However, it only develops about 32 horsepower but it has more torque than a lot of tractors that are twice its size and it's spectacular for uh, it's spectacular for pulling trees out of the woods you cut down a 60 foot tree and pull it out of the woods it has just unbelievable torque for its size another, uh, another item that you might find very interesting is uh, I've got a David Bradley tractor now I don't know what year this is I, I assume it's in the uh, early 1950s, but David Bradley was a walk-behind tractor, economy tractor, I guess, in its day, and um, it came with a series of implements. You could actually get a one-bottom plow, uh, and it, it actually has implements that are just like a regular tractor, but it's a walk-behind tractor. It has an incredibly tough differential system and clutch. Um, the motor is mounted here on the front. Um, this is just like a small Briggs and Stratton 3.5 horsepower. But you can mount any motor you want on there. I've had up to a 10 horsepower on there in the past. And uh, what is really cool about this tractor is it comes with, you, well, you can get a 3 foot sickle bar mower attachment. Okay. And that, if you've got a sickle bar mower attachment for a David Bradley, that's what makes it worth, you know, uh, top dollar. Is because they outlawed them because of the danger factor, you know. I mean, that is a, if you don't have any common sense, that's a dangerous uh, implement right there. But I'm telling you, that thing works great, man. It will snap off uh, saplings that are like an inch and a quarter in diameter, just like they're hay. Tractor works great. I've got a, uh, I guess you'd call that a cultivator. I've also got a one bottom plow and a spike tooth harrow. And a, I've got two uh, sickle bar mowers. Anyway, uh, I haven't used this thing in 10 years. It's been sitting here. And uh, I tried to start it the other day. The carburetor's all gummed up. I got it to fire, but I couldn't get it to stay running. Anyway, uh, I want to show this to another eBay user, Dangerous Toys 56. Um, he'd be interested to see this. We'll send it to him. And uh, that's it. Here at uh, here at Redneck Central, we have uh, an AM/FM uh, CD player stereo in here. Uh, we got color TV. All the amenities that you need to. Uh, you know, um, be able to work out in the shop and not miss anything, you know, not miss the big game or what have you. 
it's not insulated or anything I'm gonna put a new roof on it this spring but uh, I've got that 65,000 BTU heater right there and at 20 below zero man I can make it shirt sleeve weather in here with that anyway uh, that's my garage and workshop and like I say everything's kind of moved around because I'm in the process of cleaning just took that bench out of the basement. It's going to make a reloading bench out of it or a bench to work on my remote control airplanes. Um, and that's that. So, anybody watching this, man, if you're a subscriber and you want to see me post my uh, controversial political videos, give me a shout and say, hey, man, go ahead and do it. I uh, still haven't made up my mind yet, but... Uh, Everybody, you have a good day and uh, enjoy your spring.